In this video, I'm going to show you how to add borders to your prints in QImage 1. I'm running the Mac version of QImage 1 here, but what I'm going to show you, you can do exactly the same thing on the Windows version. So over on the left here, we have some thumbnails of some prints that we're interested in printing. And over here, we have our uh, printer already set up. We're pretending here that we have a um, borderless letter sized sheet that we're wanting to print on. So uh, let's take a look at the print sizes we have. And I'm going to start by adding um, this scenery picture here in uh, 5 by 7 aspect ratio. You can see it's actually not quite 7 inches wide because we're not auto cropping this image. Uh, we're using the ratio of the image as it came out of the camera. Uh, under the print sizes is the borders control. And you can see that we have an inner border and an outer border and then we have uh, options to put borders on the inside or outside and then we can clear borders and then we have some options down here which I'll get to in a moment. So nice and simple we have our print selected we uh, can define a the width of the inner border so I might make this for instance uh, 0.25 inches and you'll see that a black border appears around the print and now the print size down here has got a little bit bigger now if I didn't want a black border, I just click on the little uh, color selection here and I'm free to select any color I uh, like. I can use the sliders here, I can use the wheel, I can also use the dropper to if there's a if there's a color in the print itself I want to highlight to use as a border I can do that. That gives me a border uh, around the print. Now, I can also define a second border, so I might make this one, say, 0 0.5 inches, so that I can get um, a different effect around the print. You can also see that you could use this concept to set the inner border to be white, like so. And this way you have a gap uh, on the paper between the print and the actual border. Okay. So with this uh, setup, you can see that the border is on the outside of the print, so the, the print ends up being bigger than the 5x7 that we selected. Now if we click on the inner border here, now you see that we have a, the print has been shrunk down so that the border and the print fits inside of the 7x5, and if we were to turn on auto cropping, it would be exactly 7x5 inches. So you have the flexibility here if you need print and the borders to fit inside of a specific print size or you can say well I really want a print that's 7 by 5 and I don't care if the borders make it a little bit bigger. So let's clear the borders on this print and we'll show you something else. If we define say a 1 inch border here at the moment it's just white. Uh, one useful thing when you're printing to canvas is you may want to make the print wrap around the edge so that it's easier to line up um, when you actually apply it to the, the medium that the canvas is going to go on. So there's two options that can help here. We can turn on the canvas mirroring option for the inner border and you now see that that one inch border we defined the part of the print has been mirrored into the border. And this is just a little darker here to indicate where the border is on the live view. If you want to see what the print will actually look like, because it won't really print this way, you can just toggle the soft proof. And now you can see that's what you would get if you were to actually print this to canvas. Now, in addition to the inner border, you can also still have the outer border. So you could have the canvas mirroring and still have the dark border if this is on the outside. Now, if you don't want the mirror option, you can pick the stretch option, which is still a mirror, but rather than making the data one-to-one -one from the inside to the outside, it stretches it out. It just gives a slightly different effect. So those are two options that you can use for um, using the, the um, canvas mirror and stretch options. The borders are also independent for each print. So if you needed to print several uh, canvas type prints like this, you could select a larger uh, paper size. Um, notice that you can, just like with uh, regular prints, you can resize this at will if you need to make it a little bit bigger and the border will stay like it is. 
um, you could add another print Let's say we want to add this one down here and it has the borders whatever borders you had set um, down here in the user interface but you can control the borders of the print separately so this one maybe I want to make this border a little smaller and I want to change the color of the outside the outer border there let's take a look what that looks like in the soft proof so now you can see that we have different different borders here different colors I could also um, move these around if I wanted to just like I can with a regular print um, and one one final thing that borders is useful for um, we introduced the uh, cut marks so if we turn crop marks on for these prints you can see that the, the crop marks appear at the corner of the borders so if we were to turn, turn these borders back to a solid color and make them white let's do that for both of these you can now see that the crop marks appear uh, spaced away from the actual print so you can use border even if you don't want to see a border you can use them as a spacer where you have the crop marks um, which can make things easy to cut you know if you want to have a little bit of space when you when you cut around your print as you can see there are many options for making borders around your prints in Qmage one uh, it's very flexible you can be really creative on what you make and I hope you found this video useful and that you'll be trying out borders yourself